In this video, we're going to look at minimum spanning trees. Now, minimum spanning trees are something we use for weighted graphs, and we're trying to create a subgraph that is a spanning tree that uses the shortest possible lengths here. Okay, so let's just imagine for the graph below that these vertices represent towns, and we're trying to connect these towns with water pipes. Now, each weighted edge might represent a number in kilometers. So this particular weighted edge represents three kilometers of water pipe. We want to connect every single town using the least possible lengths of pipe piping. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, let's connect some of these smaller numbers here, like so. And we're, we're hoping that we've used the least possible length to connect all the towns. So every town is now connected with water pipes. And how many lengths of piping have we used? Well, let's add them up. We've got a length of six, five, um, a four, two threes, and a two. So when I add this one up, I'm going to get um, 23 kilometers of piping. Now, is this a minimum spanning tree? Is this the lowest amount of piping that I can use? Well, no, it's not actually. If I look at the one on the right, this is the minimum spanning tree. What do I get when I add these up? Six plus five plus there's three threes here and a two. And when I add this up, I actually get 22 kilometers of piping. So I've saved about a kilometer of, of piping here. Now, if we want to figure out what the minimum spanning tree is, there are two algorithms that we can use, and they are called Prim's algorithm, and the other one's called the Kruskal's algorithm, and we're going to go through that in some later examples. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing minimum spanning trees. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.